from Grenada. They came here in the like 80s and 90s. So what he was saying about how they think that black people are lazy does like resonate with me because I've heard that a lot. They don't want to. They're like flipping, doing gymnastics to separate themselves from black Americans. Black Americans are the nasty ones. Black Americans are the lazy ones. Black Americans are the ones that don't want to work and don't want to do that. And that's a very popular sentiment to have in the Caribbean, even amongst the Afro-Caribbean. They want so bad to be different than black Americans that they literally trod on black Americans and they say the nastiest thing. So you are not wrong. The joke though. It took me a while to recognize the pattern in U.S. history of the United States recruiting immigrants to come and do work that they didn't want to pay black people to do. So immigrants arrive and they're taking these jobs and they see black people out of work and are told it's because they're lazy and they don't want to work as opposed to being told the truth, which is the reason why you're here is because we don't want to give opportunities to black people or that black people are not working because they're advocating for better working conditions because it'll take newly arrived immigrants, particularly those who arrive as refugees and don't want to risk having to return to their countries of origin a while to realize that their working conditions are poor and they're going to be mistreated as well and that this history does go all the way back to just post emancipation plantation owners recruited Chinese laborers to come and do the work that slaves used to do because they didn't want to have to pay former slaves for the work that they felt entitled to receive for free but it's interesting to me that people resist this idea that opportunities are kept from black people because we have in place a white wealth and power structure that doesn't want to pay for what it felt entitled to receive for free when that's literally the history of it. <laughs> My parents came here from, you feel me, from Haiti with nothing and really created something, bro. Came, bought a house, started a family. You feel me? My, my dad owned multiple properties of real estate. My mom worked her off every fucking morning at, on the dock up every morning never no excuses fam she get the welcome back be a bad podcast i'm your host so I hate you know my comments said Black America is only great because of white proximity. We are our culture, our fashion, to Europeans. And if there was in our spot, they'll be great too. It's not how it is, man. I don't believe that. No one believes that. But let's get into it. So, before we get started, I want to give a shout out to two women. Charlie Saw, she be tearing niggas up in the comments. And she be terrorizing the comments. And Tashid422, Tashid422, both women be tearing niggas up in the comments full of knowledge. So, yeah, I appreciate y'all. Thanks. You immigrant niggas hate our proximity to white people, too. Y'all think all our successes is because of our proximity to white people. That's not true. Their proximities to us makes them successful. We helped them in the Civil War. We won the Civil War. We influenced technology for the car, for the train, for the plane. We did that. They benefit from us. We don't benefit from them. We saved Hollywood. We made MTV pop. We invented the telephone. We invented the cell phone. We invented touchscreen technology. We invented 3D. We created the blood bank. We created the blood transfusion. We created the pacemaker. We made TikTok pop. We made Instagram pop. We made Facebook pop. Our music. Our culture, not their culture influencing us. Everything we do, we make pop. We put a Timberland on, we make Timberland pop. I mean, we're a commodity, but no, no, no. White people don't make us pop. We invented the vaccination. We saved them from dying from all them diseases they had. Smallpox and all that. We stopped that. They didn't help us. We made the wealth. We are the talent. We invented the light bulb. We invented the modern toilet. We invented the stove. We invented the refrigerator. Nigga, we invented the, 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 the refrigerated trucks. Without us, there would be no grocery stores. We did that. We don't win by being from white people. White people will win from us. We invented the gas mask. Without us, this would be a third world country. Without the black American here, there'll be a, 
you can take us out and put y'all in, put us on the island. Nigga, that island, that Haiti island will be, will be so goddamn advanced. Y'all think we're aliens. Y'all think y'all come to America in droves. We had our own, own, own island. You need to grow fins trying to get to us. You need to grow wings trying to fly to us. If we had our own that would be Wakanda, nigga. If we had our own, all the resources y'all have on your Haiti island, or even in Africa, all the resources we have, we wouldn't come, we wouldn't come to America. America has nothing to offer. See, what y'all think is opportunities really is, it's the result of them destabling your country. They ruin opportunities for you. See, I come here, think it's opportunity. No, no, it's opportunities there. Y'all just ain't fight enough. Y'all didn't fight against our government enough. But if we was there, nigga, we are known for fighting government. We wouldn't, we wouldn't mind fighting the government. We just gonna abandon what we had. That's the difference. White people don't make us, we make white people. White people steal our culture. White people steal our music. White people steal our food. KFC, Popeyes, those are inspired by, by black American cuisines. Spotify, Pandora, all the music streaming services, our music make that pop. Buffalo Soldiers, Babs, Reeves, nigga, all American culture is us. It's not, it's not white proximity. They don't do nothing for us. All they do is rob us. All they do is steal from us. All they do is terrorize us. All they do is give us diseases. All they do is give us drugs. All they do is leave us out. They exclude us from everything. We gotta say it's white proximity. No, no, no. Y'all come here and get the white proximity. That's what y'all come here. Y'all come here and get the white proximity. Y'all come, y'all women come here and want to be bad winches with your cricket weaves. Y'all come here and be on TikTok because y'all got a white girl. Oh, that's y'all doing that goofy shit. We don't give a about white proximity we'd rather be left alone we want segregation back because we did better with segregation we thrived on segregation it got ruined once we got into white proximity we had our own stores we had our own companies we had our own business we had our own cab we had our own train station our own newspapers our own magazines our own movie theaters our own stores our own banks our own clubs our own nightlife our, our, we had a whole different society apart from white people can't none of y'all do nothing aside or apart or without white people. We proved that every, every main highway you see leads to hundreds of black communities that was ruined. That was thriving. Y'all know about Rosewood. Y'all know about the black wall street. Nigga is y'all know about Wilmington. You know about the, any massacre in America is it hundreds of massacres in America, black massacres. Those was all thriving societies despite white society. Welfare didn't exist back in the 19, 1820s. We didn't have that. They didn't make welfare for us. They made welfare for white people, for white widows. White people are still the most poverty welfare, getting people in the world. They get the most food stamps. They get the most assistance. And you immigrants come here and get all the assistance. Nigga, any, we, don't, we don't care about white proximity. That's yeah. We don't need them. There is no proof nowhere in, 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 in the Caribbean without white people that y'all thrive. Y'all don't have a Caribbean Wall Street. You don't have a Haitian Wall Street. There was there was never a, a Haitian car made, a Haitian play made. Y'all don't do that. What Haitian inventions do y'all got? What Caribbean inventions do y'all got? Can you name some? Put them in my comments. The best thing y'all got is our proximity. And y'all be ungrateful and disrespectful. Every chance y'all get, y'all sit around and talk to you about us. We don't do that about y'all. We inspire y'all. Y'all kids talk like our kids. In the house y'all was raised, y'all was raised to hate in your household. We wasn't raised to hate. Nigga, y'all need pro y'all need white proximity. We nigga, we the only people on earth who don't need proximity. If we had our own country, Europe would be in trouble. That's why they don't let us do our own thing. Because they let us do everything except invent weapons. You notice that? All, all we need to take over this world is to make our own weapons. That's the one thing they keep us from. Every time we get a genius, they take our geniuses away. The reason why they did this segregation is because we won't get strong. Nigga. Desegregation came around the same time the Colonel Report came. The Colonel was one of the Colonel Report was going, why is these blacks burning everything down? And that's the same around the same time they started immigrants come here because the water is down. Because once when we by ourselves, we turn up, we nigga, we get active. Y'all come here and water is down. Y'all come here and be on the news talking about how we need reparations or how we we listen to how the black y'all come here and start speaking for us in black face. Every time we see y'all in high places, we should get offended. Cause it's a slap in the face. Anytime we see a Kamala Harris, Obama, anytime we see y'all in high places, we should get offended because they use y'all as tokens of black success. Look at these blacks. These are successful blacks. But in reality of it is none of, of y'all black Americans, none of y'all deserve them, them, the spots y'all get. Y'all come here cause white proximity use y'all as tools, as billboards for success for black Americans. Y'all really not. Y'all really in disrespectful. 
Every time we see y'all, we should get mad. Every time y'all, y'all graduate, we should be we should be upset. Every time y'all get into a Harvard, we should be upset. Anytime y'all get into an HBCU, we should be upset. Y'all, y'all don't deserve nothing we get. Y'all get everything y'all don't so disrespectful to us. Every time y'all graduate, we be happy for y'all. Every time y'all is an African or somebody, we we was happy for y'all. Y'all was in our schools graduating. Y'all, 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 think about this. Y'all in our spots at the top colleges graduating where one of us supposed to be at. And we still clap for y'all and applaud y'all. Y'all don't even acknowledge this. Y'all acknowledge y'all country in Nigeria and all that. Fuck that. All that stopping. Oh, it's going to be an erupt stop. We not supporting none of that ever again. Anything we do from now on is going to be just for us. Because when Mexicans do something, it's just for Mexicans. When, 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 when Asians do something, it's just for Asians. And when, when everybody do something, just for them. We not doing nothing for everybody no more. Exclusive. Nigga, everything's going to be exclusively for us. And that's what y'all fear of. We don't need your allyship. We don't want y'all unity either. We don't owe y'all nothing. And y'all, 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 y'all voluntarily being used as tokens and tools for black success. Every time we see one of y'all successful, we, it's, it's like blackface. Blackface, y'all, blackface and black skin. It's offensive. And y'all know it too. Y'all know when y'all come here, they, they're going to treat y'all better. They're going to make y'all nurses. They're going to educate y'all. And y'all know y'all replacing the black Americans. Y'all know y'all replacing us. Let's talk about this, this unity shit. What unity? When was we ever unified in America? Was we even unified in Africa? The same people who sold us supposed to be unified people who sold us. Same people who want to replace us supposed to be unified with people who, who want to replace us. Are y'all stupid? Yeah, yeah, we're not unified. You want to unify? Unify your country. Unify with your people. Don't come here talking about some unification. Nigga, let us unify in America by ourselves. We're back in America. Let us get all the opportunities that y'all taking from us. Nigga, the Black Panthers is proof we can unify. The Civil Rights Movement was proof we can unify. The, um... Nation of Islam is proof black Americans can unify. The deacons of defense is proof black Americans can unify. 1500 riots could prove we was unified. The Ross riot proof we was unified. The North riots proof we was unified. The New Haven riots proof we was unified. The New York riots proof we was unified. Rosewood, when we fought against the, the, the white cops, police in the middle, it proves we can unify. There is no proof that any of you unify. Y'all all divided in Africa. Y'all sell each other. Y'all tribal. Y'all come here talking about unification. There is, you abandon your country. You abandon your tribe. How can you talk about how can you talk about any type of unification you abandon your island you here you want to get unified no go to your island to get unified we have proof you can unify y'all the reason why we ain't unifying because y'all come in and 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 mitigate and make a distraction so we can't unify y'all are in our way we was more unified when y'all wasn't here in large numbers you can talk about unification you have no proof of unification don't talk about no, don't talk to a black american in black america about unity when you ain't even in your country to unify with your own people get the fuck out our face a coward can't talk to a warrior we letting cowards talk for warriors we let too many cowards talk for warriors and too many clowns talk for lions we let too many salamanders talk for fire breathing dragons we are fire breathing dragons America fear us. They don't fear you. That's why they pick and select who they let come in. They don't let warriors in. They let submissive people win. They let cowards in. Don't talk to no nigga. I have, we have no allies to unify with. We unify with people who sold us. We unify with people who are being coons and being submissive. If you're talking that peace talk, you're talking about no revolution. You can't unify with us. We are a revolutionary people. Y'all not. Fleers, cowards, and coons are not friends of ours. It never been. Check the history book. The Black Negro Bank proof we can unify. The Negro League baseball team proof we can unify. Even the gangs in California, the Bloods and Crips unified against the Mexicans in the woods. You can't tell us about how we can't unify. We know we we are unified people naturally. We do that by naturally. Nigga, it's the whole world against us. It's the whole white society against us. Every white ethnic group in America formed to be white and they all target us to make us the subject of victimhood and we always fought back you can't tell us about no revolution you can tell us about fighting back you can tell us about no unity y'all don't have it get out our conversations we're not unifying with cowards y'all be in the room with white people and let them call us in words and say and y'all feel like y'all ain't part of us anyway ain't no talk about the about unity we never been unified Yes, we all have oppressors. That's why white supremacy is a direct enemy of all of us. You fight them how you fight them, we fight them like we fight them. We don't need to unify to fight white supremacy. Fight it autonomously. We fight them autonomously. We fight them on our own. We've been fighting them. We've been fighting them way without y'all. We don't need y'all help now because I don't see none of y'all fighting them. I see y'all bowing down. Talk about it's just division. No, this ain't division. We was never united with y'all. People who sold us, people who want to replace us. It's no division. We started Pan Africanism and we ended Pan Africanism. Y'all love white proximity. That means something to y'all. I don't mean nothing to us. I bet we're the only 
African, I bet we the only people in the African diaspora that actually did good independent of white proximity. The apart, people in South African apartheid, they're not thriving. They have no good communities. Out of all the African diaspora, we still the richest on our own. So we had our own country, we would still be richer than y'all if we had it. Y'all gotta compare a whole continent to us. The whole Caribbean to us. Don't talk to me about where's the first foundation of black American country. Nigga, we gon' nigga, if we had it, you'll be there and you grow wings, you'll fly to be around us, nigga. You'll be a fish, you'll grow fins to swim to us, nigga. We the reason why Arabs, Chinese, and Indians got to eat during segregation. It's proximity to us. Our proximity to white people don't don't do nothing but make them better. And make y'all better. Y'all y'all being in our proximity is the reason why y'all could go in these HBCUs, these benefits, these uh, minority programs. We the reason why y'all businesses was driving, because y'all eat off us in our proximity. If, if Arabs and Chinese people wasn't in black proximity, if the, if the Caribbean wasn't in black proximity, y'all would be nothing in America. Y'all probably wouldn't be in America. It's our proximity that makes shit pop. We are the common denominator of everyone's success, of everybody's well-being in this country. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't white people. Nigga, without us, they wouldn't have none of the adventures they got. This would be a third world country. They'd still be in boats. And I ain't talking about no motorboats either. I'm talking about you no know, fucking sails and rows. they will be motherfucking row, rowing down a goddamn boat. <laughs> Gently down a motherfucking stream. So they still be on horses, carriages, if it wasn't for us creating that engine or, or, or the first car or, you know, the gear shift or the engine. Trains wouldn't have a third rail wasn't for us. If, if it was invented, if we didn't invent it, we made it better. We go to Ethiopia, what we do, we create a plane and help them create planes, invent planes. We make planes from scratch. We go places and make things better. It seems to me, y'all go places and make things worse. Every European country when kick Africans and Caribbeans out their country. Every, every, every place. Y'all need to set the hair because white people think y'all us and y'all not. Y'all don't add more to it. <laughs> y'all don't add more to the invention and creation. Y'all, y'all don't. Y'all just, y'all just come and fall in line. Y'all just come and follow. Y'all don't set no trends. Isn't it funny that technology took off after 1619? Before we existed, none of this existed. No telephone, no microphone, no pacemaker. Yeah, they didn't even have they didn't even have ambulance before us. Nigga, we have created the ambulance, public schooling before us. Nigga, nigga, we nigga, we the reason why people eat in school. It's our proximity, it's our ideas, it's our moral ground that make this country works. Nigga, any y'all wanna be amongst us. Y'all speak our language. Y'all saying, oh, y'all speak your nigga. Yo, we have European blood. Nigga, we speak in our language. We ain't speaking your language. You speak English because we are English. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, they all had children with slaves. We are that. We have to found the father blood, not you. Y'all did some random, pure random African and got spent a little bit of Spaniard or French blood. Y'all blood ain't shit. Y'all ain't jealous of our blood. Y'all jealous of, of our European mixture. We ain't proud of that shit. It's just what it is. I'm not bragging. I'm not happy to have. It's just what it is. That it is what made us. Y'all can't shame us for being who we are. Y'all be trying to shame us for, oh, y'all, that's the white man. That's the white man. Nigga, we part of the white man, nigga. We speak in English because we, we was made by the English. We was created by the English. And we don't speak English. We speak our own form of English. American English. Black American English. Our vernacular, is. it comes in vast ranges. Every part of town have their own black vernacular. Every hood. Every little crew have their own vernacular. Nigga, it's regional. We go from north, south, east, west, midwest. It's all different vernacular, but we have it. And y'all don't have a language. Y'all can't talk it unless y'all talking like us. Even if we being nerdy and being an Oreo and trying to be white, nigga, we do it a, 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 a certain black American way that y'all copy. We are your blueprints. We are we we are the blueprints. We are the trail y'all follow. We are the example. We are the standard. We are the we are the litmus to everything that goes on in this country. To everything y'all do, especially y'all Caribbeans, especially y'all Africans. Y'all come here, y'all be awkward. Y'all can't adapt to American society without looking at us. Because if you notice, we don't act like white people. And in actuality, they want to act like us. They talk like us. Asians talk like us. Arabs talk like us. Everybody's doing rap music. Everybody's doing hip hop. Everybody is going to the fields that we created. Only a few ethnicities played a part in technology. Technically, we are the main ones. We say white people, you know, like 33 countries of Europe, so we got so we say white people invented something. You had to you had to pick which ones. When we said we invented something, we talking about a whole bunch of ethnicities. We are one ethnicity. White is thirty the ethnicities. Africa is fifty four countries, three thousand ethnicities. Don't compare us to white people, nigga. What white people are you comparing us to? Germans, Brits. Scottish, Irish, Italian, what white people are you comparing us to? You compare white people to us, you compare you comparing countries and nations, ethnicities to one ethnicity. We ain't even a, we ain't even a country. Our proximity to whiteness. Y'all niggas is jealous. Y'all niggas is bogus. 
We don't get, nigga, we don't get real government assistance. We don't get real welfare. We get the worst welfare. And welfare we get, it hurts us, it harms us. We are the only people that government give assistance to that harms us. Public housing harmed us. Nigga, they had lead paint, asbestos. It was on toxic land. It harmed us. Kids got all types of asthma and, and, and um, bronchitis. Bron- I can't say bronchitis. Bron- bron- bronchitis. Uh, asthma, bronchitis, all types of cancers. And our life expectancy is lowered because we live in a project. It, pro- it literally promotes single parent homes for us. Public housing harms us and welfare keeps us. It gives us just enough that we don't have to work. Well, not us, but the woman. It gives women just enough they don't have to work. And it's always crime ridden. It's deliberately crime ridden. They, when they had cocaine and crack in mind, they had black communities, public housing in mind. They deliberately ruined us. They gave us things so they could ruin us. They don't give us programs that they give y'all programs. And then look at us like, like, oh, y'all been here. Y'all don't know your opportunities. Y'all been opportunities. No, 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 no. We've been distracted. We've been, we've been sabotaged deliberately. See, they come here, they help y'all. They give y'all assistance. Y'all can't tell us to lift us by a bootstrap. when well, y'all never lift yourself by the bootstrap. We the only ones who didn't get no fucking boots. Y'all get all types of head starts. New credit. Loans. Y'all come and say what your ancestors did, what your parents did. They did nothing but get free handouts and welfare. If our government treated white people the way they treated us, white people would be worse off because, we, listen, white people are naturally poor and, you know, Neanderthals, they're, they're naturally cavemen. They're naturally sleep with animals and, and like they, this is what they did. In any thriving European society, uh, some, some sort of African blood had to civilize them. The more civilized Spain and Britain, Egyptians civilized Rome and Greece. They're naturally uncivilized. When they come here, they too had the same advantages. Immigrants got the same advantages. Europeans got the best advantages they got the homestead act they got the suburbs so when y'all say blacks are lazy no blacks aren't lazy blacks are neglected blacks are ignored blacks are abused we've been here for decades yeah we've been here for decades decades of abuse centuries of abuse used manipulated and every time we fight they just bring more reinforcements more europeans more asians they get to be cops they get to be social workers they get to assimilate with whiteness and agree with whiteness they get to be right wing right wing minded a right wing minded person always think the enemy is black. They always think they, they, they never see their advantages and their handouts that the government gets them. They are all government pawns and puppets. They're all blind. All they see is black. They get CRT. They get um, affirmative action. They get anything we fall for. Everything we fall for, it wasn't to give us an advantage. It was to get us on equal playing field with our disadvantages. We trying to go to schools where rich people, these, these kids have p- parents as billion and trillionaires, and we coming from public housing trying to get into these schools. That don't put us at no advantage. That just got us in the door. Y'all be mad. We trying to get into the door. But yeah, they let all the immigrants in, every Caribbean African, because y'all be so cool and comfortable with them saying the N-word, with them saying dumb blacks ain't like that, with them saying, when they make you think you different, when they depleted your country, when they sabotaged your country, and you had to flee. And y'all, y'all, probably, y'all probably the same people that was working. Your parents probably the same people that worked with the government and things went wrong. See, so I had to flee. That's why y'all allowed to be here. That's why y'all are refugees, because y'all are traitors. In that case, your whole continent, your whole country would be refugees, and they all be allowed to get. No, it's selected people that are allowed to be here, the ones that, that cooperated. They always came about how your parents work hard. None of y'all parents work hard. Not one of y'all. Y'all all got welfare. Y'all welfare recipients. That's the truth about it. Can't no immigrant come here with nothing but the shirt on their back and make it. It's always a plan. They always say on something. If you come here, you get this job. You got this shelter for you. It's all lined up. You get Medicaid. You get federal assistance. It's all lined up. If they ain't, it ain't have that, y'all want to come here. If if you can't, you can't. First of all, you can't get somewhere being broke. You can't get somewhere being broke, and you can't live somewhere being broke. I don't see no. I don't see no Haitians. A bunch of Haitians being homeless and in shelters. I don't see none of that. Y'all don't come here and go in the shelters or that my parents came here with nothing. Shut up. All y'all lying. All y'all stupid. And this is the truth. Y'all get all these charities to give directly in New York charity. The asylum access in Oakland, the Florence immigrant and refugee project in Arizona and near in Washington, DC, the care in Atlanta, migration policy institution in DC, the national immigration forum in, in DC, upward global, San Francisco, global refugee, the Ryan immigrant center in Boston, the New York Immigration Coalition, Georgia Salem Immigration Network in Atlanta, 
They get SSI, Supplemental Security Income. You think we don't know about that? Assistance. They get SNAP, Emergency Medical, Children Health Insurance. They get Medicare Premium Free. They get HUD Public Assistance, Title XX Block Grants. All you got to do is go from a legal immigrant to say you an asylum seeker. Y'all get, then y'all automatically get all the welfare. Every one of you claim asylum seeking, get welfare. And so you gotta do is say, yo, I'm not a refugee. I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not an illegal immigrant. I'm an asylum seeker. Then all the programs, all the programs, all the charities, all the, that gets so much help. The Borough of Humanitarian Assistance help y'all. Temporary Assistance for Needy Family help y'all. They get so much federally funded benefits. So many, you got so many Catholics, every state, every town got a bunch of charities to help immigrants and migrants. Y'all don't act like y'all came in, grab yourself for the bootstrap. Shut up. It's all lies. Y'all get, y'all, it's, it's hundreds, if not thousands of programs and charities that help immigrants once they come here. And I never seen a homeless immigrant. I never seen a homeless Indian guy from India. I never seen a, a homeless Mexican. I ain't never seen a homeless Chinese person. I, unless they had mentally, unless they got mentally, you might see one mentally insane, unstable, but I ain't never see a, a, a homeless Indian, a homeless Pakistani. These motherfuckers, you think they come here with nothing? No, they all come here established, fully established. Shelters, homes, cars. They're giving IDs to immigrants. They're giving driver's license to illegal. We be talking about they come here with nothing. Y'all always got assistance. So y'all don't act like we don't know what's going on. Y'all don't act like we didn't help you. Nigga, y'all are liars. Y'all in denial. But the lies sound way better than the truth, don't it? Don't our ignorance make you feel good? Us not knowing the shit you get in secrecy? Shit you keep from us, shit you don't brag about. Doesn't it feel good to us to be ignorant? We ain't ignorant no more. Nah, nigga, we know the gig is up, and we want all that shit to stop. You want to come here? Oh, okay, you want to be immigrants? Don't get no assistance. Don't get, don't get, don't get no government assistance. And don't get no help. Let's see how you make it like Black Americans do. All you see is homeless Black or Black Americans, homeless Americans. How was it that y'all getting shelter and help, and Americans is not? Y'all want to brag about how your grandfather came here, how you, how you, how you, how you came up from nothing. Man, shut up. All y'all lying. None of y'all came up from nothing. Y'all all came here. How a whole family going to come here, a wife, woman, and children, and, and the man ain't got a job. Nigga, nigga, there's nothing but welfare. There's nothing but assistance, financial and federal aid. Can't no family come here. Now, I ain't never seen a family of immigrants or Haitians or Jamaicans in a tent. There's people in tents down the street. It's not a family. It's not one baby. Nigga, y'all lying. Nigga, an immigrant, all y'all do is come here and say y'all asylum seekers. All y'all got to do. And the government instantly give y'all everything they don't give us. Y'all be on some lying shit. Oh, I, I, I came for the bootstrap. Nigga, you get so much welfare. And, and the white immigrants get even more. I could kill all that. Can't one immigrant, European, African, Jamaican, Caribbean, Asian say they came here, their parents came here, went out a dollar in their pocket, fresh off the boat. Y'all always getting assistance. It was jobs waiting for y'all. It was housing waiting for y'all. Look at the immigrants. Look, look, look at the Venezuelans. They, they getting thousands of dollars, nine thousand dollars a month, seven thousand dollars a month. Debit cards. I'm sure your, your parents was getting money too, food stamps assistance too. It's just not spoke about because it's not honorable. It's not, it's not honorable to brag, to be honest. You get more honor in line. You look better when you lie. You don't look so good when you tell the truth. This don't feel so good. I'm telling the truth. Do it. It don't, it's offensive, huh? Ain't, ain't this truth offensive? Aren't you offended? Aren't you mad? I'm saying this about your country, about your ethnic group. Ain't you mad? I'm saying you should have no pride because there's nothing to be proud about. Don't you hate the fact that y'all all black Americans? Who fought for the civil rights to get you here? We have like, oh, what civil rights you fought for? You know what rights we, we y'all know what we, we know what we did. You know what this ethnic group did. You know you'd be nothing without us. You know you won't be here without us.